The 626 mil is just burnt out yet another motor. That's three motors it's had on it. Um, I've always wanted to put a three phase motor on with an inverter. I've had a look around at various different motors and different packages. And I've settled on this one from a company called Newton Telsa. It's a pre wired drive set up specifically for my mill machine. It's a 1.5 horse motor set up with an inverter all ready to go pre wired. Not that I couldn't wire one up myself, I set one up, up myself. But this company's got a really good name and I'm going to keep the miller machine so I thought I would do the job properly with Cartman's and Telsa This packaging's good for lighting the log burner I think this will be the control pendant. Which it is. That's nice. This would be good because I often use the Miller machine for Drilling and tapping. This will be the inverter. Which it is. Shows my particular mill. This motor has got exactly the same. Footprint exactly the same mountain, so the pull straight on. Same shaft diameter for the pulley. Nice looking unit, three quarter shot. It should be a three quarter, and it's a 19 mil, which it is. Everything's nicely pre wired with enough flex on to, to do the job. This is my 626 mil. This mill has done a lot of work for us, I've had it for quite a few years now. I would like a bigger mill, but I just haven't got room. Uh, the only problem I've had with it has been motors. This is its third motor that's burnt out. Uh, so I'm going to change the motor for a three phase motor with a, a speed controller with an inverter drive. I'm going to go through the process of fitting the inverter and then fitting the motor. Um, the, the setup I bought is all pre wired, ready to go designed for this machine. I'm going to take the lid off just so you can a bit more room and you can see what 
goes on a lot easier. The other thing is we're using an inverter drive motor. I won't have to change the belts as often to get the various speeds. The motor's basically held along with four bolts onto this plate. And there's actually shimmering washers under there because the plate is not in 90 degrees to the pulleys. Obviously you've got to disconnect it from the mains. That one pin through there should come out in the whole motor assembly and lift off. <coughs> the motor is actually quite heavy. This is a one horse motor and the motor I've went for is a one and a half horse. So it's gonna have a little bit more power as well, which is always gonna be helpful. So that's simply one bolt from there. This is a new motor. Comes pre-wired with plenty of wire on to do the job. And two adapter brackets that go on here to give it the the same footprint as that motor. Three phase motors are a lot quieter running and a lot smoother power. And obviously with running through an inverter, you've got facilities for braking speed control, forward reverse, as well as a jog button. There's a little bit of slugger on the hose, a little bit of play on the hose, but that's quite a lot of movement on the actual mountain hose to get things lined up. I'm gonna put the two spacer washers in the bottom that were there originally just to keep the motor lying at the right angle. And this should be going there through there. So all these holes have been slotted. There's been various different motors on here. Um, I bought this middle second hand, so obviously I'm not going to tighten these up until I get the the belt lined up and make sure everything's running nice and true. Right, let's put that in there just to hold it in place. 
See how these old two people, but I'm by myself. Right. This is where the third hand would come in useful, but I haven't got. Where's it start? That's pinning, that's all it is. And that swings there to tension the belt. So that's gone on fairly straight forward. I need to make sure that the pulleys are in line in that plane. I'm going to put a straight edge across there and a straight edge across there and I'm just going to look from that direction and make sure that the gap between the two parallels is even. It's not rocket science but it works and that looks pretty good to me. I want to come down very slightly on that side. Right, that looks good, looks a lot better. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but to my eye that looks looks good. Right, the next thing we need to line up is the belt that way. Obviously the pulley's too high, so that wants to come down quite a long way. Once again, I'm just going to eyeball this, and that looks pretty good at that. Right, so we've got the belt running nice and true. There's a little grub screw in there, just nip that up. Basically that's the mechanical side of it fastened on. Now it's all wiring. 